Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the third. Uh, I did actually do some off-screen grinding uh, before today's episode. Uh, I got... Where is it? Julia, Mueller, Zinn, and Tita up to uh, decent-ish levels. I gave a few levels to Josette. Didn't really uh, send anyone else in, though I did update everyone's equipment, so everyone's got their best weapon and uh, decent armor. Uh, the important thing, though... Oh, and then, of course, uh, Rius and Estelle are both level 117. The important thing, though... Where is it here? Where's my Sepis? Hello? Ah, there we go. I got us some Sepis. So, uh, there was another spot for, uh, Lucky Palm, or Shining Palm grinding, which was actually in St. Croix Forest. Uh, I'll show it off really quick, because it's no trouble to just pop over there. Pop over the fourth plane to the local lodge. You run out this door. Come over to St. Croix. And now, uh, what I read is that every were-rat or werewolf spawn in the whole dungeon uh, has a chance for a one drop of a Shining Palm. However, this particular werewolf spawn, which is convenient because it's right at the beginning- HA! Look at that! Has a chance to drop three Shining Palms. Um, there's one later in the forest too that has the same thing, but like this one is right at the start, so it's super easy to spam. Um, cool. Rius is not quite strong enough to take them out in one uh, 200 CP. I haven't tested Chloe. I'm sure she is. I haven't tested Olivier. I'm sure he isn't. And Estelle is, but hers is a single target. Fun fact, Mueller's is. Julia's wasn't at first, but now is since she leveled up a bit. Uh, Tita cannot, but she's a good follow-up to Rius. And... Oh, Josette couldn't, but I barely leveled her. Uh, so then, shoot, I guess, uh, we'll take the guaranteed. And prepare for noise barrage. I'm gonna fast forward through it. Unfortunately, these guys don't get too great of XP because they're already at higher levels, but, like, that's why we do it. Shoot, you know what? I wasn't planning on doing uh, too much more, but we got that drop right off the bat. And then, uh, as of course with the last spot, when you don't get it, you just keep fleeing in a spot where they can uh, stand there and just keep triggering. Oh, that's in a bad spot, though, because they're in surprise attack position. We're just gonna move over here, thanks. Oop. Reset my orientation because I'm very particular. And yeah, you just keep doing this. I might as well actually like let this play out and use up the other three S breaks since we're here. But I'm not gonna make you guys watch that, so I will cut that out. And uh, pick up with you again when we use up our CP. Oh, we're back. Only took like another minute. I hate when one of them gets to move first because as you see, it gets out of range. That's fine. I can use up all of our CP in one go. I guess I'll be nice and let these ones play out. That will absolutely annihilate the werewolf. Oh, it actually got one of the palms, too. Good for you. Does it normally, though? Yeah, that's the unfortunate reality. Oh, I meant to follow up with Olivier. I'm dumb. Ah, whatever. We'll just do Estelle's. Hers is enough for uh, a one-hit KO. I love uh, getting this one on a 7th uh, upturn because, oh man, look at all these extra hits that we get 7th for.
Take that extra boost. So now that we've got that taken care of, we can head back to home base. Oh, and a couple people did learn some extra moves. I don't think I can look at their regular stuff. Um, let me go down the list here really quick. Okay, nothing from these two. They didn't level up. He's gone. Didn't use him. Tita. Oh, she learned Vital Cannon 3. Yeah. Uh, so just, you know, her healing craft got upgraded. She got nothing. Didn't use her. Didn't use her. Uh, she got Lands and Rider 2, which I don't remember what that is, but I think it's like her stabby stab move. That does in impede. Interfere? Impede? Impede. I think that's what it's called. Didn't use Red Haired Guy. He got nothing and I'm crazy I thought he got something and he got a uh, supreme composure which is his self-healing move just heals for more now so let's not waste any more time and get this last character going who is your guess You'll find out momentarily if you were correct. Kill. What? That looks like... It, it couldn't be. Could it? You've got to be kidding me. It's Colonel Richard! Ugh, a stun grenade? Who goes there? Speak your name! What? Uh, <laughs> I sure didn't see this coming. I presume you're all familiar with this man. All I can tell by the uniform is that he's from the Royal Army. Yes, we certainly are. Uh, I'm not sure what is going on here. Estelle? Joshua? And is that you, your highness? Yes, it is. It's good to see you again, Richard. I feel the same. The pleasure is all mine, your highness. I'm delighted to see you well and in good health. <laughs> There's no need to stare at the floor when you're talking to me, you know. How have you been? Th thanks to Her Majesty's extraordinary kindness, I've been doing very well. I hope you'll forgive me for asking. I'm afraid I don't quite understand the situation I found myself in. Would it be any trouble to request a brief explanation of where we stand? It would probably be easier if I handled that. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Rhea Sargent, a squire affiliated with the Grouseritter. THE Grouse Ritter? I see. It sounds as though the situation is even more abnormal than I thought. I suppose I should introduce myself as well. My name is Alan Richard. I was once a colonel in the Royal Army's Intelligence Division, as well as a traitor who attempted to instigate a coup d'etat. At present, however, I run the research agency RNA Research. Interesting. Thank you. I think I have a solid grasp now. I wish I knew what else to say. What do you mean? As in, like, you're having trouble believing all of what we just told you? Well, part of me feels that way, yes. Well, that's not really it. The greatest doubt in my mind is simply, why me? Huh? I look at everyone here and I see comrades who know how to fight alongside one another, to turn even the darkest of odds in their favor. Whether this turn of events was the will of the goddess or someone else, I can't rightly say. But from where I'm standing, you've already formed the perfect team for overcoming the obstacles before you. Uh, I guess so. I sure as hell don't want to work with her, though. I don't want her stupid rubbing off on me. Oh, you're gonna really- 
or you're gonna feel really stupid after I thwack your brains to mush. Not now, you two. <clears throat> if I may, I find it hard to understand how I, of all people, came to be here. Far from working together well with all of you, I'm a criminal who threatened both your lives and the safety of the nation in which we thrive. I can't help but feel my being here is a mistake of some kind. Still, you have helped us before, though. Like, during the attack on Grantsel, remember? You came to everyone's aid then. Y yeah, that could have gotten really bad if you and your men hadn't showed up to help when you did. <laughs> They're right. And there was the fact that you assumed responsibility for defending the city while all of us escorted Chloe to Hawken Gate. Yeah, you might have done some bad stuff in the past, but you're underselling yourself by saying you've never helped us before. Be that, be as that may be. My good man, it's not as though you're the only one here who's performed terrible deeds. To use the occasion Joshua mentioned, while well, you were valiantly defended Lit Grantsel, I was at Harkin Gate threatening Liberal's safety. And yet here I am, fighting alongside my friends without a care in the world. The best thing to do here, in my personal opinion, is relax. I'm not sure boasting about not having a care in the world is something you should be doing. I have a different perspective on those events, your highness. You were only threatening the Burl on the surface. You had no intention of actually doing anything. On the contrary, you were trying to protect it. The same can't be said for me. My conspiracy was of my own doing. Okay, but what about me? We were being used by you guys, yeah. But that doesn't change the fact that we were a bunch of sky bandits who even hijacked an airship. But Her Majesty was gracious enough to give us another chance at life, and we're trying to make the most of it running our new company. I don't think our pos positions are all that different, honestly. Well... You might have done things that you regret, but it's not the past that determines who you are. It's what you choose to do now. Exactly. And it'd be a huge help if we had someone as baller as you fighting with us. So please, we could really use your help. Are you sure, Annalise? Huh? You guys know each other? Oh, I suspect a door in the future. How did that happen? Oh, <laughs> I went to visit your dad for something a while back, so that's when we met. Huh? Really? After all you've heard, I see no reason to refuse your company. After all we've heard. If anything, we're eager to welcome you to our group with open arms. Myself included. You could consider it aid given to the Grouse Ritter if that would make you less adverse to the idea. What do you say? Very well. You have my support. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so glad you're with us. Thank you. <laughs> I only hope I meet your expectations. Incidentally, there is one thing I would like to confirm first. What would that be? You said that you believe everyone to have been surrounded by that white light and sent here at roughly the same time. When that happened, were you all wearing the same clothes that you are now? What kind of question is that? Now that you mention it, how come you're wearing your military uniform? I was under the impression that you left the armed forces. That's right! Hmm. Now the question makes sense. You were wearing something different when you were sent here, weren't you? I was. Currently, I work out of an office in Ruan City, and since beginning work there, I have never once willingly worn my old uniform. When I was surrounded by that white light, I was wearing a shirt and a pair of slacks as I normally... It feels hard to imagine. And yet, somehow, I find myself here in uniform. That's odd. It's not something that happened to anyone else, either. Oh, I have a thought. Perhaps the Lord of Phantasma decided the Colonel just wasn't sexy enough in anything else, and prepared that strapping uniform for him after bringing him here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, in addition to the other billion ways you're a weird freak, they're a weird freak. Why, why are you suddenly referring to him as they? You've got a military uniform fetish, too? I couldn't entirely blame them if they did, though. Same. Claudia agrees. 
I swear, girls these days. Oh my god, that was like three different voices in one there. Sorry, red haired guy. Ah, Tina has no clue idea what's going on. Yeah, apparently she only has a thing for fucking older brother types. Still, there's clearly got to be something to it. I get the feeling we're on the verge of a major breakthrough in working out how we ended up here. So do I. As well as what this place really is to begin with. Interesting. In that case, let's put the matter aside for now. Now that that's settled then, we should start getting ready to resume our investigation. Releasing Richard should hopefully have opened up a new path for us to follow. Cool. Just take a... Oh, no. Let's take a look at him really quick. Uh, he's level 117, which is nice. Amazingly quick with the sword, excellent arts proficiency. Also, apparently, he's got really spammable crafts, or so the guide mentions. Actually, wow! He's got no arts defense. Like, look at that. Zero arts defense. But look at his arts and his defense and his strength in comparison. He's... Okay, he's not as good of a caster as uh, Olivier and Chloe. But there are two best. Uh, he is a better caster than... He's a better caster than Estelle, who has 997 uh, arts right now, which I absolutely adore. I thank you so much, girl. You rock. Um, so he is, like, our third best caster right now. Yes, he's our third best caster. Only by a little bit, but still. And then look at that strength. He's almost as strong as Red-Haired Guy. Okay, he's our fourth best in terms of strength. Actually, no, okay, Estelle's a little bit stronger, so he's about as strong as Estelle, okay. But that defense is no slouch either. It's really just Art's defense where he where he's slack, and he's super fast too. Look at that speed, Jesus. He's currently our fastest. I wonder if he has an action on. Yeah, let's put, uh, let's put Richard on the board for a moment. Get you equipped, my guy. What do you use? Oh, he uses the same as, uh... Oh, he uses the same as, um... Annalise. And... I think that's it? Hmm. And he's going to take your Subaru. That's the best armor. I've got everyone uh, else equipped with bracer coats, except for our main four. Uh, Richard came with a battle sword coat, too, which is nice. Also, soldier tabbies. No force gators early on the main crew. Didn't have the money, right? Um, how much is... No, not 95, Jesus. Okay, so I could get uh, boots for everybody. We also don't need 10. Let's get you your sword. Alan Richard. Nice art. Okay, so you're good. Oh, no, actually, you need... Kevin doesn't have the current equipment. That makes sense. We'll get him equipped later, though. So, uh, one for Josh. Tita. Set. Actually, there's really no point in upgrading their armor right now. Wait, is that... That is an adorable art sprite. I, I don't think I've ever stopped on hers long enough to look. I love the ice cream. I love the... That is adorable. I want to give her a kiss. Oh my fucking god. Okay, I'm moving the hell on. Sudden attraction to Annalise gained. I don't know what it was. Um, yeah, everyone else is fine. Okay, uh, so then let's go over to his ordments and see how bad things are. First, let's get him fully slotted. Oh, good, he was level 2 on everything. Okay, he's kind of like Estelle with his chain. In fact, I think he's exactly like Estelle with his chain. Hold on. No, okay, who's, who's that? Who am I thinking of? 
Is that Kevin? Hmm. Either way, let's get a couple more of the good quartz while I have stuff for it. Topaz gems. Grab a couple water gems. A couple HP fours. We got a mind four. Definitely a few more ruby gems. Oh yeah, we're slacking the most on wind right now. <clears throat> Definitely a couple wind gems. When I say a couple, I mean I would do one more, honestly, but I also want another shield for And heck, you know what? Take that. It's, there's got no downside to having it. It's literally just free wind. Okay, a couple action fours. Ooh, EP Cut 4 is definitely slacking on those. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, no, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Two silver gems. Not enough for a mirage gem, which is fine. Love to have a couple more of those silver gems. Okay. That is excellent. Stop by you here. Already got another thing. No, we'll give you a uh, wind gem. What did that give you? Ooh, Gale Lance. That's a new one. I haven't seen that before. Aerostorm is huge. Plasma Wave. But Gale Lance attacks and pushes back enemies with a blast of wind. Okay. Exciting. And then over to Chloe. Do we still have Chloe? We still have Chloe. Give you a wind gem. You can have a silver gem. You get one new spell out of it apparently, but just having that extra EP is always good. What did that give you? Plasma wave? I'm not actually sure. Did you have an EP4? You do. Go ahead and take a silver gem then. Ooh, that gave you some things. Calamitous Blast creates cracks in time and space to damage foes. Arts defense down, that's huge. There's a few more than that, I think. But I guess not. What does Silver Gem give you? Space, time, and mirage. Interesting. Okay, and then let's go up to good old Kevin. I'm gonna make sure you're taken care of. At least in this regard. Probably gonna have to do some more uh, grinding off screen another time. Definitely gave you a few things. Maybe. Actually, not sure. That's fine. And then Rias here can take. Oh, we used up the last silver gem, didn't we? Yep. Okay, that's fine. She can take a topaz gem. And a wind gem. Do I not have more people who are using HP4? I suppose not. Wow, okay, he's already set up pretty good. Not bad. Just missing on that second path there. And he's fire, specifically. Okay. Action 4 is 
fine. EP couple is fine. Hit for. Interesting. Earth opens up some interesting stuff for him. Let's maybe set him up with a topaz gem. And then on this one... He's a good caster. Cast 2 might not be bad. got lots of water with the mind for. Yeah, you know what? Do we have the time for a cast too? We might. Oh, that mind four is probably why he's got such good... What is it if I remove it? Oh, he's still got pretty good casting. 998, I saw that. Joshua, Wind Gem. And a Ruby Gem. You can have a Water Gem. Definitely set you up with another EP Cup before. Okay, that's fine. They don't need upgrading right now. Alright! I think that's about as good as we're gonna get from there. I don't actually need Richard at the moment. I think I'm gonna put my regular party back. Let's take a quick look at his tactics here. So he's got Chain 3, Luminous Divider, True Luminous Wheel, True Luminous Ogre Slash, and Afterglow Smasher. Exciting. Okay. Yeah, for now. Performance. Oh, no. Your aid, please. Perfect. Let's quickly refill on CP. Boom. And we're good to make forward progress again. What's his support? Battle CP recovery up, move up, and arts defense down. Interesting. Uh Interesting that Joshua is also arts defense down. Sure. Support us, red haired guy. And we may actually continue. This one is all dark and spooky. It's the Umbro Labyrinth. It's spooky. Too spooky. Another good old teleporty maze here. Oh yes, these are the incubi, aren't they? No, oh, this one's a succubus. Okay, Dream Devil it appears in men's dreams, steals energies and sometimes life. I uh, hit it with space. Got it. We're gonna dock matter you so freaking hard, dude. I don't even know what hit ya. Look at all this dock matter. 
Does it matter? I uh, know I'm in the dark. Atta boy. <laughs> Enjoy the show. More XP than the Shining Palm from last chapter. Okay. So there's two chests and two teleporters. Kind of lead to the same area on the last map. It's a nightmare. Just don't use wind. Maybe try and use a bit more space. I think I'm just going to shoot it in the head and execute it. How does that sound? <laughs> Oh, there's another one. I didn't even see it. You bastard! Nice, Estelle. I think I've got her equipped with the thing that gives a uh, bonus range from the fisherman door. Crest charm. Perhaps the second gift will be unwelcome, and should it come to that, I would still dearly wish to be your friend. The days we've spent in that shop are, and always will, remain precious, no matter the answer. Oh yeah, as I was uh, doing the Shining Palm grinding, uh, I did actually find another chest in the forest that I'd missed the first time. Uh, it didn't really have anything exciting, and the quote was just like, what do you expect on the box? But I just thought I'd mention. Oh, these guys are pretty good against physical, aren't they? Yeah, best one for you to do is a uh, Hellgate Estelle. <laughs> Latir all. Nah, Latir is fine. Almost. There we go. Worth noting, Reeds could have finished that one on her own. Ooh, Chloe's about to level. Here we go, Chloe. We take that, thank you. Start a new game. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare, other nightmare. Let's see. And now we are... Where? Oh, I'm over here, okay. Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. Although I will take another look at the map really quick. Yeah, because we ported in from here, we got those chests, and now we're over here. Okay. Hello. You guys hate space? Yeah, this is a space hating zone. That's okay. I want to see the Calamitous Blast. That sounds rather exciting, don't you think? Not bad. Wait, what? Wow. Good job. Well, that takes care of that. Next battle should level Chloe up to 117. Okay, it goes around. Okay, apparently we want to go this way first. So we'll clear the ring of monsters so we can just avoid them the next time through. Also, apologies, I was apparently wrong and I'm kind of annoyed that I spent all of the Sepith. There is apparently one more character that is the true final party member. So that's cool. Ooh, Gale Lancey, yeah, I don't see that. 
I do not know who it is, too, because the guy doesn't even say the name. There, just in case. It's a cool looking move that I fast forwarded. I usually get into some points, so it's pretty strong. But it's just a big gust of wind. In a column. Is it for enemies in the ring? It is. Okay. Yes, we want to go this way first. Just because it leads, it's very long, but it just leads to mostly treasure. And the other way we have to go back uh, is the way to go. I know I don't have hands, but I want to hold yours. Aw, that's cute. I'll hold your hand, little chest. Hello, Mr. Archdevil. Arc Devil. Oh, ooh, and a succubus hiding in the back. That's neat. Take a diamond dust because it amuses me. But also a lost Mobius because it also amuses me. Oh, she's got Gale Lance. Nice, go for it. I'm just gonna do a wave of plasma, that's fair. You're in the kill box! Um, okay. Um, no Magista? Okay, well that was not quite how I expected that to go down. Although to be fair, he does have a lot of health. Alright, time to... Actually, we'll hit him with that, but we'll also hit him with yeah. Wanna see what I got? Show us Estelle. like your entire health bar, but you're not allowed to do the same thing to me. Turnabout is not fair play. Haha, <laughs> 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 your movement went down <laughs> too. Wow, good XP. Those are like mini bosses. Just roaming. Yep, yeah, Olivier, so they both went to 117 just as Estelle went to 118 though. Good Sephith. Lily Necklace Plus. Oh my, Sato, is it really you? Sato was Hideko's senior in college and belonged to the same club as her. Fascinating. Yeah, might as well. Take it. Be buffed. Hello, double spider spawn. You're going to die. Good 
Deja vu. We're good to go. Q. More enemies lay dead by my hand. Yeah. Oh. Did not mean to do that, but I guess it's kind of tradition now. That's annoying. Please don't do that. Let's get a Lakiria going for when Estelle pops back in. Yeah. Couldn't target her with it, but I could get a lot going. This is one of my main casters, man. You suck. Nighty night, kitty cats. Oh, it's recent to 118. Nice, nice. Chain 3, about damn time. Yeah, that's where the next ceiling stone block is. Destiny card. Can you tell this treasure was outsourced? That's what we need for an upcoming uh, star door, I think I saw. Hello, Dustin Accord. Hello? Was it an accessory? It is. The final trump card. Entrust your fate to this. Prevents death blows. Nice. And it's uh, not a one time use. Which always sucks. Go whack him, that's all you can do right now. Let's see another Calamitous Blast. What can I say, I'm a Calamitous son. Oh, but it was sped up! <laughs> Amazing! What terrible calamity! Teehee. Moon Glasses Plus. Treasure Chest is supposed to have a witty saying, but we drew a blue blanc. Well played, well played. Anyone using dark glasses? I don't think so. What does that one do? Arts, arts defense prevents poison and blind. Okay. You know what, I think we're gonna give that to Estelle. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Vain. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, another one of these big boys. And a succubus. No, a couple of spiders. I don't think I would really want to fight you guys properly. So you can just chill for a sec. Because you have no EP anyways. And then we're going to do this. Oh, Great this should hit him pretty hard. Shine down thy radiance and smite those who oppose us. Divine light, grant me the strength to punish the wicked. Nah, not bad. Could have been better. Fine, just keep slamming him with dark matter. Hey. Oh, you cannot do so, so just go do nothing, but gain some CP, why not? Uh, 
That uh, should be enough. Thanks, love you, Olivier. But we have 118 and Olivier too. Oh, just barely. Sturm three. Interesting. Okay. What is that? Oh, I didn't realize this was over here. I guess I did go the wrong way. That's fine. Potter Modern? Huh. Now this is a surprise. Wait. Wait, does that mean it's gonna be Ren? Unbelievable. It looks to me to me be a large archaism used by Ouroboros. Your reactions say there's more to it than that, however. You could say that, yeah. Let's go get that stone. <laughs> After all this time, we finally found you. You must have spent a long while looking for the person inside. And we shouldn't keep you waiting any longer. Let's hurry back to the garden and release them right away. Yeah, thanks, Rius. Hmm. Well, if that's Ren. Uh, it mentioned that whoever that is is uh, the best caster in the game, flat out. So that's interesting. We'll definitely find that out later. I don't think it's necessary. Probably gonna be able to heal by Olivia here, yep. They go. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We'll grab that. Strega, is it Omega? Have you seen those chests from Erebonia? They're the strong silent type. Sound boring. Uh, what did I just pick up? Oh, boots. The original Stragas revived in limited quantities. Oh, Strega Zero. I think if anyone gets these, it should be Estelle. Yeah. I wonder if that means that uh, cold steel chests won't have quotes when you interact with them. What a step down that would be. Oh, hi. Uh, I already fought you. Don't get greedy. So this is why I want to do this side first. It just seemed like, you know, a dead end. Oh, okay. I don't want to fight you again. Oh, it's not again. There's a chest there I have to grab. Ow! Ow! Okay, that was bad. Let's do that. He resists death blows. I see. How about we come back slightly more prepared? Uh, Chloe, go ahead and just... I, I didn't read what it said there, but it was like a big quote. Bigger block of text than I was expecting. Um, okay. I don't know why I'm saving like I'm about to go fight a boss, but... Oop. He almost turned around just in time. She almost has the Oh, that was 200. Cool. Yeah, so we're gonna do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of this. Uh, I was gonna do a Stell's S break there, but there's no need. Yeah, that's already a crit. He'll do a hit, that's fine. We'll heal from the hit. No big. Yeah, that's totally enough. 
Oh yeah, he's losing his down anyway. Ooh, 119 for Estelle. Good job. Here on. I see. Looks like somebody uh, just kind of mashed on the keyboard for a bit. Fair enough, I suppose. Hey, you already died. Don't be greedy. You know what? Fine. You may have some napalm. That was... Poorly done. I call this Requiem for a yeah. Death Scream, I guess? Does she? Why not? Sure, there we go. The Death Scream don't kill. Who could have dead? Well, that takes care of that. Arc Fencer 2, nice. Rhea's getting a couple of things here. Okay, now that we're back here, we're gonna go back down this way to the bottom teleport. Excuse me, spiders. You've already died, I do not wish to massacre you any further. Ooh, definitely want to fight you again, bud. Right, this lets us out here. Estelle. She has taken up the uh, no damage turn. Her casting is going to be useless and I can't even snipe it from her. Alright. Ooh, Chloe's close to... Actually, they both are, but Chloe's obviously closer to joining him at 119. Oh, she leveled up. That's why she has EP again. Hooray! Yeah, they can all each be individually targeted, but it doesn't matter because Olivia ain't more than all anyway. Bye. So close for Chloe. Also, I appreciate this time step that we're getting. A springed egg. Hack splutter. Sorry, I've got a bit of a chesty cough. <laughs> nice. Ah. Sundor, this is a minigame. To choose left or to choose right, only the cards know what the future holds. If you wish to step inside, present the card that governs fate. Which is, of course, referring to that destiny card we got. Yeah, let's see what this minigame is. I have literally no idea. Hi, Bernie. Memory fragment and my blessing. This is going to be Shara related because she's the one who does divining. The Calvard Republic. 
There's a city in this country, a place where migrants from the east have recreated their homeland down to the bright lacquered tiles. Nicknamed the Eastern Quarter, it was home to people of all kinds from all places. On the northern outskirts of that town was a little run-down bar. Doubtless it had been presentable once, but now the plaster was crumbling, and what doors were left barely fit their pitted frames. Of course, such a seedy place attracted a clientele to match. Inside were two gamblers of exceptional skill. It was only mere months ago when they had turned the underworld on its head in the match of the century. The first was Jack, ooh, a prolific blue-eyed gambler known by the moniker Victory Jack. He was finally able to put his past behind him. It's Gambler Jack, I believe, from the books. The second was Halle, a petite gambler who remained doggedly by his side despite his best attempts to shake her. Today was yet another ordinary day at that bar. However, the shriek of the door opening announced the arrival of someone who was anything but. Is this going to be poker? Huh? Who the hell are you? Gotta be either really dumb or really brave, and that's saying something with this joint. I'm putting my money on the former, how about you? <laughs> hey, get away from him, guys. Cute. I'm so sorry about them. I'm sure that wasn't the welcome you were expecting when you stepped in here. They're not bad people, really, I swear. Although, you could certainly be forgiven for thinking so looking at them. Are you a customer by chance? Here, let me show you to a table. <laughs> Still, you're quite the unusual one if you don't mind me saying so. Not many people would willingly come to a rundown bar like this, especially not in the middle of the day. I'm not saying it was a bad idea to come here, of course. Sure, it's in desperate need of renovations, and the regulars are a rowdy bunch. But there's just something, I don't know, warm about this place. Like I'm home. The food's a lot better than you'd think, too. Oh, watch your feet. I'm pretty sure that floor panel there is going to snap any day now. Well, here's your seat. Anything you'd like to order? You don't look like you're here for booze anyways. How about something to eat? Personally, I'd recommend the Tom Yum Gong. Goon? It's the most popular thing on our menu. For good reason. That mix of spicy with just the right amount of sourness is perfect. Aha! I can see your mouth watering already. That's a definite yes. How about something to drink? Just water? Sorry, what was that? You're looking for Jack. Well, he's usually sleeping in the back at this time of day. Wait, did you come here to challenge him to a game of, of something? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even think to ask if that was what you were here for. Hmm. Well, alright, I'll go and talk to him. If he's in a good mood, he might be willing. Don't get your hopes up, though. Wait here for a minute, okay? Hey, you hear that? That guy over there wants to take Jack on. Yeah, I heard. Huh. If he takes him up on it, this could get real interesting. Huh. Wouldn't be so sure about that. It ain't often Jack actually gets serious, and I don't know if that guy's got what it takes to bring it out of him. Well, here's the Tom Young gu See, I, I would think that she's going like, Gong! And it's just Gong? But it doesn't really fit in that sentence. Eat it well, it's still hot. So I guess it's goon. Oh, and as for Jack. Sorry, but he says he'll pass this time. Seems like he's still hung over from drinking yesterday. Doesn't even want to get up. I'm sure that's not what you want to hear after coming all this way to challenge him. But that's Jack for you. Wait, no, I've got a great idea. How about you and I have a game first? If you beat me, I'll go bug him again. I'm sure he'd be totally interested in someone who's better than me. Surprised? I'm actually quite the gambler, you know. The name's Halle. Oh, okay. I'm the daughter of the legendary gambler, King. Not exactly a household name, but it's a pretty famous one in these kind of circles. Fair warning. I don't plan on holding back one bit. For doing this, we're going all out. 
Plus, if I win, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Are you good with that? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Well, let's move to a more suitable table, shall we? As for the game, how does Blackjack sound? I guess. I'd rather play some Hold'em. Go we'll find. Series of Blackjack games, one-on-one, -on -one, maximum of seven games will take place, and the first player to win four games is a victor. Following commands can be used. Hit. Stand. Having seven cards and a combined score total of 21 or less results in seven cards hand, which is even stronger than a blackjack. Two cards with a total of 21 between them. There are no other possible special hands. So how do you have 21 with just... Huh. I mean, yeah, you can do it. You need a lot of very specific cards, though. Are you ready? Then let's get started. I'll hit that. 14. Oh. Well, that sucked. She got an 18. Makes sense. Should have quit while you were ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna have some stock lines. I ain't reading them. An 8 and a king. Oh, no. I ain't, I ain't going past that. 13, 23. Get dunked on. Ouch, I totally lost that one. Said I wouldn't read, still reading. I love uh, the stars are colored. Red and blue. Oh, a 20? Absolutely not. 14. Ooh, 21. Solid. How much I can do against that? 12. Absolutely hit. 15. We'll hit again. Ugh. 23. She's only got to win one more, and then she wins. Might have to try this a few times. Blackjack is pretty luck-based. Seven? Absolutely. No. An ace can be a one in blackjack, I'm pretty sure, so I'm gonna hit again. Does that still add up? Yeah, that still adds up. Um, I'm not going to hit again, though. Ah, nice. Okay, cool, we actually got a uh, tiebreaker here. Wow, I wasn't expecting this to come right down to the wire. Now I really can't lose. Thirteen, yeah, we'll hit. Ah, oh, damn. I can only hope she busts too. Nah, she's got eighteen. Well, that's that. Unfortunately for you, I win this one. Retry. Well, that was a letdown. That's all you're capable of. Even if I did convince Jack to challenge you, you'd lose against him anyway. Well, as harsh as this will sound, rules are rules. You're gonna have to leave for today. But only for today. Come back once you've managed to brush up your skills, okay? Lower difficulty? Hell no. Try again without lowering difficulty. I didn't even know there was a difficulty. 16? Uh, yeah, we'll hit. Ooh, 19. We'll take. Nice. Fifteen. Yeah, we'll hit. Oh, damn. Well, we needed to, otherwise we would have lost anyway. to do it. We tie. It's 
since we just pretend that round didn't happen, basically. Uh, we'll stand at 19. Nice. I, I ain't hitting that, you know? Alright, alright, that's fine. Okay. Nice! Cool, we've got another tiebreaker again. Oh, instant blackjack, we take that. Thanks. Well, that's that. You won, stranger. Nice work. Learn the recipe for Tom Young Goon. Let's see, 5,000 Mira. Wow, who'd have thought? You're actually really good. Alright, a deal is a deal. I'll go and talk to Jack again. Wow, he actually managed to beat her? Looks that way. Maybe we'll get to see something interesting after all. Oh, man, I'm tired. There he is. Huh? There's a new face. So, what? That's the guy who beat Allie. Ugh, my head's throbbing like a bitch. What? There goes the floor. <laughs> See, told you. I knew he'd be the one to break it. Ha! Ah, that you did. Poor guy. It's kind of crazy how he's amazingly lucky at gambling, yet amazingly unlucky at everything else. Always luck's just specked. Actually, it's probably less unlucky and more him always being out of it. Hey, I heard that, you. I'll take you on any time you want. That's enough, you two. If you want to fight, you can take it outside. The last thing we need is this place ending up any more run down than it already is. Oh, and on that note, you're fixing that broken floorboard yourself, Jack. That's on you. Why do I have to do it? Glare. <sighs> fine, fine. Ugh, this sucks. Huh. Never thought I'd see Jack so wrapped around somebody's finger. You're telling me. Anyway, sorry for the wait. Here's Jack. So, I was right then. This is the guy who wants to take me on. Sure is. Really? He doesn't look like he's gonna put up much of a fight to me. Never let your guard down, or you could find yourself stumbling into something unexpected. Like, you know, the floorboard again. Ugh! Anyway, I'm Jack. I think you already knew that, though. Before we do any gambling, I need a drink. Give me a whiskey, Hallie. On the rocks. <sighs> what was that you said earlier about a hangover again? Oh, I got rid of that just now. Come on, we haven't got all day. <sighs> you are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Did Hallie catch your eye? Girl's about as sexy as a lamppost right now, but she's got potential. Hey, that's rude. She's cute as heck. Couldn't tell you what made her want to work in a shithole like this, but here she is. She's here because you're here, dipshit. Anyway, forget her for now. Let's talk about you, yeah? You're one brave guy to come in here all on your own and out of the blue. I doubt many guys would have the guts to do that. Or girls, for that matter. Nice to see you two are hitting it off. Here's your drink, Jack. Thanks. Huh? You hanging around? I figured you'd get back to work. As if I could work knowing there's an exciting match going on over here. The owner's given me the okay too, so I'm gonna park my butt right here until you're done. Ugh, with an owner like that, it's no wonder this place is the way it is. 
Well, whatever. Let's get this over with. Here we go. You're the challenger, so I'm gonna be the one picking the game we play. I'm going with the one I'm best at. Poker, yes! I actually like poker. I'm not super into blackjack. Play a one-on-one -on -one game of poker against Jack using unconventional rules. In this game, there are three table cards in the center of the table that players include in their hands. Both players are given three cards at the start of the turn, and then they eventually choose five of the three in their hand and three on the table to make a hand. Both players attempt to steal the other's stars, and the first player to reach seven stars wins. The player starts with three, while Jack has four. Losing all of your stars was result in defeat. Okay. Exchange all cards which haven't been placed in hold status once, then play. Place all cards in hold status. Bet two stars, not one on the next game. Exchange all cards in hand with the table cards once per game only. Selecting a card allows you to choose whether to hold it or not. If you want to keep all of your cards, place them all in hold status. I see. And that's standard poker, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, we have 9, 10, Jack, Queen. Unfortunately, that's it. We have three cards for a flush. So which one do I want to bank on? Okay, well, at least we got a pair of jacks. Oh, I didn't do that right. Wow, at least I had my pair in there. Okay. I see what it's I see what it's putting down. Uh, there's no uh, confirmation warning there though, which is really bad. So we got a pair of queens, we got a jack, and we got a ten. And an ace, which doesn't really help unless we get a king. Let me hold that. Hold that. Eight. Okay. Each have a pair again. Get a pair. We we each have the pair of queens. Okay. All right. All right. Putting him through his paces. Nine queen and a two. An ace, a queen, and a seven. Well, we're definitely holding on to that. Can't really do too much else. I think we'll get rid of both of those, see what we can do. Interesting. Is that a flush? No. Well, keep those. actually win this one. He had no pair this time. Would you look at that? Don't expect that luck to hold out, stranger. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Almost got a flush there. We almost have a straight and we almost have a flush. That's huge. But almost means nothing unless we have something. We want either a five or a nine. Okay, 
pair of sevens, that's not nothing. Nice! Creeping along. Could win this if I do a raise, but... I do not wish to do that. Now this one we kind of have shit all. Two, a five, and a seven. Okay. So when you fold, you do a complete redraw. Okay, that helped. Now we have a pair of queens. Ace high. Definitely keep that. Actually, we'll drop the ace. We'll see what else we can get. Huh, another ace. Ooh, two pair, solid. Okay. Pushed back a little bit, that's fine, that's fine. Seven, so we each have a pair of sevens, automatically. Oh! Three, four, five, six, seven. I have a straight. Three, four, five, six, seven. I should have raised. That would have been a perfect opportunity for a raise. Oh well, that's fine. King of five and ace. I have a king. Um. Yeah, I'd have to keep the two and three and drop the four on the hope of getting a four. Or and drop the king, I mean. No, that's fine. We'll uh we'll, we'll keep the king and see if we can get something matching that. Ooh, two pair! Hell yeah. Two pair ace I. Five, six, seven. Eight. Ooh. But I have a pair of jacks. Uh, it's almost a... Oh, it's not a flush because it's a six. is a club. We'll do that. Yeah, that's fine. Pair of jacks. Let's hope he doesn't have any better. Fair. I like poker. It's not quite regular poker, but it's still cool. Three king and a ten, and I have a queen, jack, and an ace. That's troublesome. Oh, wait. Jack, ten, queen, king, ace? I believe I went on the straight. Betting two stars, huh? Bring it on! I never turn down a challenge. Unless I'm misreading this entirely, I believe I have a straight. Jack, ten, queen, king, ace. Yeah! Get dunked on, my guy. Damn! You managed to get all my stars. Be proud. Not just anyone can beat me. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. You're pretty good after all. You beat me fair and square. I ain't gonna make excuses. Are you kidding me? He actually beat Jack! Only because he was holding back. You know that as well as I do. Same could have been true for his opponent, to be fair. Y yeah, you're right. It was still a damn good game, though. Looks like we're the center of attention now. I'd say we entertained the bar enough, at least. Can't say I'm thrilled with losing, but it's the first time in a while I felt the rush of a good gamble. I'll say, that was a great game to watch. 
I'm itching to play some poker myself. Anyway, if you ever feel like it, come on back, I guess. I'll try and make time for you if you do. But just so we're clear, you haven't seen half of what I can really do yet. You say that, Jack. But for all you know, it's gonna be you getting beaten next time, too. Huh. We'll see about that. Still, I feel the exact same way as he does. You're always welcome back here. I'd love to play you again, personally. You better come back at least once, though, got it? I need a chance to get my own victory against you in... Now that you've got one on me. Oh, that's all for today? That's a shame. We'll come back again sometime, alright? So we got to meet Jack and Hallie. Cool. Mirage Ring Plus and 10,000 Mira. Mirage Ring Plus. Ring set with a mysterious rainbow colored gem. Defense, arts defense, and agility. Interesting. Okay. Cool. And then from here, we just. I believe there's a monument right here. Yes. First, uh, did I miss. Oh, no, because enemies reloaded. Yeah, yeah. So we'll grab this monument. And boom. That, my friends, is where we're going to leave things off for today. So thank you to everyone for joining me. I hope you had fun. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time for some more Trails in the Sky the Third. Bye-bye.